everyone. In the previous video, I have explained you the Archimedean property of real numbers. So this property says that whenever you are having two real numbers, A and B, right there like there always exists a positive integer n such that n times a is greater than b so now just see the third corollary of this theorem this says that for any epsilon greater than zero there exists positive integer n such that one over n is less than epsilon now, how to prove this? So, in the previous corollary, if we put a to b 1 over epsilon in the corollary 2, and what is that corollary? That corollary is for any positive real number a, there exists a positive integer n such that your n is greater than a. So we will use this scrollery in the proof of scrollery 3 and both these scrollery are based on the Archimedean property of real numbers. This scrollery says that for any epsilon greater than 0, there exists a positive integer n such that 1 over n is less than epsilon. So if we choose a to be 1 over epsilon in the scrollery 2, clearly 1 over epsilon is also greater than 0. So this is a positive real number. So for this positive real number A, there always exists a positive integer N such that your N is greater than A where A is 1 over epsilon. So which further implies that your epsilon is greater than 1 over N and this thing we want to prove. So we will use this corollary in the proof of the theorem that between two real numbers there lie a rational number that every open interval it contains a rational number. Right? That means between two real numbers there always exists a rational number. Moreover, there always exist infinitely many rational numbers. Okay, so you can extend this. So this says that every open interval AB, it contains a rational number. You know, we will prove by taking different different cases. Now, case one, let's suppose both these a, b are positive real numbers. Both are positive. Clearly, for the interval, this number should be less than this. So now, now this implies B minus A is also a positive number. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. So we can consider this to be as epsilon in crawlery 3. So by crawlery 3, what will you have? There exist positive integer N such that your 1 by n is less than epsilon. And here we take epsilon to be as b minus a. Right? So we get 1 by n is less than b minus a. Now we consider a set a as a set of those natural numbers such that your m by n is greater than a.
सो हमने एक सेट चूज किया सभी नेचुरल नंबर्स ले लिए सच दैट ये चीज आपकी ग्रेटर है ए से तो अगर हम आगे शो कर देते हैं कि दिस इज लेस देन बी इट मीन्स वी गेट अ रैशनल नंबर विच इज लाइंग बिटवीन ए एंड बी Is it clear? This point is clear. So we consider a set A as those natural numbers such that m by n is strictly greater than a. हमने ये numbers ले लिए जो greater than a हैं ऐसे m अपने natural number choose कर लेने हैं राइट तो बाय यूजिंग आर्केमेडियन प्रॉपर्टी क्लियरली दिस सेट इज नॉन एम्प्टी बिकॉज वी नो दैट कि दो रियल नंबर्स अगर हो तो आपके पास ऑलवेज नेचुरल नंबर एक आपको मिलेगा सच दैट दैट टाइम्स दिस इज ग्रेटर देन द नंबर अदर रियल नंबर सो क्लियरली दिस सेट इज नॉन एम्प्टी नो फर्दर बाय वेल बाय वेल ordering property of natural numbers principle or or you can say or property of natural numbers the set a it should have first element n not ordering property means you can compare the elements and we know that set of natural number they satisfy the ordering properties if one number is less than the other the other number is less than the next number then one will be less than the c so we know that the natural number also satisfying all the ordering properties so they are well ordered set we can compare two natural numbers right so now uh, we are having set a it is a set of all those natural numbers which satisfying this condition now next we will assume that that n not is the first natural number first element that let a has first element say n not such that your n not upon n is greater than a humne pehla number choose kar liya natural number jiske liye ye condition hold ho rahi hai means what agar hum n not minus 1 le right to ye is condition ko follow nahi kar raha means your n not minus 1 this natural number is not a member of set a is this point clear ए सेट के लिए हमने पहला नेचुरल नंबर देखा कौन सा है जो इस कंडीशन को फॉलो कर रहा है सो so, हमने फर्स्ट एलिमेंट ए सेट का निकाला कॉल दैट सेट एज एन नॉट विच सेटिस्फाइंग दिस कंडीशन इट मींस एन नॉट माइनस वन के लिए ये वाली कंडीशन होल्ड नहीं हो रहा दैट मींस दिस नेचुरल नंबर इज नॉट अ मेंबर ऑफ ए इज दिस पॉइंट क्लियर इसका मतलब अगर ये चीज ग्रेटर देन ए नहीं है तो दैट मीन्स वॉट लेस देन और इक्वल्स टू ए इसका रेसी प्रोकल होगा राइट कॉम्प्लीमेंट होगा नाउ दिस इम्प्लाइज वॉट योर एन नॉट अपॉन एन माइनस वन अपॉन एन इज लेस देन इक्वल टू ए यू कैन टेक दिस नंबर टू दिस साइड सो यू गेट एन नॉट अपॉन एन इज लेस देन इक्वल टू a plus one over n, but one over n is strictly less than b minus a. One upon n is strictly less than b minus a. Call this as star. So you can use star over here. That your one over n is strictly less than b minus a. This is cancel out, so you get it is b. 
So you get a number n naught by n, which is greater than a and which is less than b. And clearly this is a rational number because this is some natural number, this is natural number, right? So this is a rational number, okay? This point is clear. Any can you repeat the third step? Okay. First of all, we assume that by the ordering property that always there exists first natural number which satisfying this condition. Call this as n naught. So this will be the first element of this set which is having this condition. It means if it, this is the first element, it means this is the first element hai, wo a set ka member. Nahi hai. Pehla natural number. Jo hai. So n naught minus 1 is not a member of set A. That means this number is not greater than A. If it is not greater than A, it means it should be less than or equal to A. Right? These are the properties of ordered sets that we can compare. Agar ye se bada nahi hai, clearly ya to less hona chahiye, equal hona chahiye. To yehi aapke paas hai, possibility bachayi. And now if this is the possibility, you can simplify this. You will have n naught by n minus 1 by n is less than or equal to A. You can take this number to this side. So you will have n naught by n is less than or equal to A plus 1 over n. But by using star, in starting, we have this. Mana hai ki agar A or B dono positive real number hai, to crawlery 3 say, if you choose B minus A to be epsilon, you always have a positive integer n such that this thing holds. That 1 over n is strictly less than epsilon, where epsilon is B minus A. So you can use this star equation over here. So using star, what will you have? That that's 1 over n is less than, strictly less than B minus A. So here your A is cancelled out. You will get it is B. So from here, you have a rational number as n naught by n, which is greater than A and strictly less than B. So that means this implies there exists a rational number. Rational number n naught by m, which is lying between A and B. That means this is contained in open interval AB. So we have proved that there always exists a rational number in an open interval a b provided both a and b they are positive real numbers because case one humne ye choose kiya tha that both these are positive real numbers is it clear now yes, now consider the second case let's suppose your a is negative and b is positive right your a it is negative or zero and the it is less than b b jo hai wo positive hai ek number negative hai ek number positive hai again you can use the third corollary so again by corollary 3 there exist positive integer n such that your 1 over n is less than b clearly this number is positive and this is rational number So we get a rational number which is less than B and since it is positive, so clearly it will be greater than or equal to 0. Right? And your A is less than or equal to So again you are having a natural number, a rational number 1 by N which is lying between A and B. Again the result holds. So clearly 1 over n is a rational number which belongs to the open interval a b if your a is negative and b is positive is it clear yes, now the case third in that case if you take a and b both to be negative 
let's suppose your a is less than b and they are less than equal to zero now this implies you can multiply by minus to both side you will get minus b is less than minus a and they both are positive reverse ho jayega zero will be less than equal to minus b will be less than minus a is it clear humne minus se multiply kiya hai so we have this thing inequalities change ho jayengi now if your a and b they are negative number clearly minus b and minus a they are the positive numbers right so you are having you are having positive real number so you can apply now case 1 so by case 1 there must exist a rational number say it is x which is lying between minus b and minus a is it clear both are positive real number so we can apply the case 1 by case 1 there must exist a rational number say it is x which is lying between minus b and minus a again we can multiply by negative sign and you will have a is less than minus x is less than b and if your x is a rational number then minus of x is also a rational number so again you are having a rational number which is lying between a and b aur yahi aapne prove karna hai so whether a b are positive negative both negative one of them negative in each case you always have a rational number which is lying in the open interval ab or you can say between any two real number there is always a rational number 